<laughs> yeah, I hope um, I'm able to uh, explain uh, what the next um, topic is about. It's uh, active citizenship and STEAM, how these tools can help with the transition of, uh, to the new digital culture by oh, the internet. <laughs> I'm sorry, now your names are not on the website. Um, Maybe you can introduce it. Yeah, Olympia, one is Olympia. That uh, was easy to um, um, remember for me. And your name is? Victoria. Hi. Um, I think it's uh, a new tool called Steam. You want to um, show us? And yeah, thank you. So, uh, hello and welcome to Republica. My name is Victoria and I'm here today with you to just um, give you a short overview of uh, a new educational approach and um, tell you why this is essential to today's uh, uh, evolving changes, especially in the working environment. So, to begin with, I would like to stress out the major fact that uh, technology uh, is currently playing on um, um, creating new needs for uh, skills and uh, new professions. And um, this is why I'm going to um, present this uh, slide from uh, coming from the World Economic Forum. Uh, indicating the skills that will be necessary in the near future. And uh, if you please let me give you a short video from um, the same uh, uh, forum saying some uh, things about these skills. So as you can see, there is a major um, shift towards uh, soft skills and competencies. And uh, it's quite important to uh, note that skills such as creativity, critical thinking, design thinking, and problem solving are more essential now um, than it uh, were in the past. Here is another slide. and. Um, Teamwork, of course, or coordinating with other people, as um, uh, we saw in the video. So we need to prepare our uh, younger generation for this kind of skills and for these swifts that are um, uh, happening right now. And we will, they will be happening even faster in the near future. Um, this is why I would like to introduce you to the STEAM educational approach. STEAM is the acronym for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts and Mathematics. And uh, this approach is to learning, uh, this approach to learning uh, uses uh, all these um, aspects as access points for guiding student uh, inquiry, dialogue and critical thinking. The end results are students who take thoughtful risks, engage in experiential learning, persist in problem solving, embrace collaboration and work through the creative process. So this is a new educational approach that uh, slowly and slowly is trying to be integrated in the um, uh, Greek educational system as well. Uh, in other educational systems it's already obligatory. And uh, as you can see, the basic, um, the main results and uh, the main um, benefits of this approach is that uh, it is actually um, enough for preparing students by equipping them with uh, these soft skills we um, mentioned earlier. Um, let me uh, once again show you a short video regarding STEAM. 
STEAM is a framework for teaching across multiple disciplines. It is science and technology interpreted through engineering and the arts, all based in mathematical elements. STEAM is not as narrowly defined as many people would expect it to be. In fact, STEAM prepares you to explore the mysteries of the universe. It helps find solutions to things like global warming, cancer, and world hunger. But it can also prepare you to build communities and transform nations, as well as use things like lasers to develop revolutionary medical technologies. Ever wonder why you're learning all that math? Try living without your cell phone, headphones, computers, or tablets. Without STEAM, there'd be no cars, airplanes, solar panels, or even LCD screens. STEAM explains why the sky is blue, why the world goes round, and why global warming will have you trading your snow boots for flip-flops. With a career in STEAM, you can use your core foundations in art to design a beautiful building, a vehicle, or a revolutionary product. STEAM provides you with the tools necessary to turn your concepts into reality. STEAM makes you more attractive to college recruiters, future employers, and that one girl you got your eye on. With a career in STEAM, you too can be a rocket scientist. So that was a short um, overview of uh, what people can do with STEAM uh, education. And uh, it's not only about um, the impact and the skills that creates, but also there is a major shift in the jobs, including the STEAM-related uh, um, jobs that the projections are um, saying they, they are going to have an, a big uh, raise. So uh, you can see the... Uh, department of uh, Mathematics and uh, medical scientists, jobs in the system, software developers or uh, biomedical engineers, uh, they will start raising uh, uh, in, uh, in the next years. So um, bearing all this uh, in mind, um, last year I came up with an idea um, to connect both uh, jobs existing here in Thessaloniki in the fields of STEAM. And these jobs are mainly uh, innovative enterprises and startups with uh, students um, who need to be equipped and uh, skilled up uh, with uh, the benefits of uh, the, the STEAM educational approach. And this is uh, why uh, we created Stimulator. A, which is an educational, um, uh, vocational training um, project uh, that does exactly that, connects students with enterprises and at the same time equips them with the skills they are going to need in the near future. Um, can I show, yes, I'm going to show you um, a couple of pictures from the last uh, year, the pilot year from Stimulator. And um, I'm going to walk you through um, some information about this project. Um, so as we say, Stimulator is an educational vocational training program aiming to uh, connect the students and uh, with enterprises and startups. So here are some students visiting Apifon, uh, which is a digital startup based here in Thessaloniki. So um, what we are basically doing is that we um, take the students within the workplace, we uh, introduce them to the people working at uh, the companies, and we um, push them have insightful conversations in regards to what kind of backgrounds they have, what kind of skills they need in their everyday life and working life as well. And then we uh, take over by providing um, uh, by, by, by providing STEAM uh, workshops. Uh, here you can also see that we uh, use technology quite um, um, with a quite emphasis. Okay. And um, uh, 
think that um, what is important to be stated for this project is not only uh, the connection between uh, students and uh, the enterprises, uh, but the vision behind this uh, initiative is that we want to convince um, the students from Thessaloniki or from Greece to stay here, to um, realize that uh, these things and these kind of jobs can actually be uh, enforced here. And um, if they, they find a way to do it here, they should stay here and chase their uh, dreams uh, with us. So this is why we want um, even more schools to participate and even more companies to be part of this um, raising uh, community. Um, we hope that this year will be a very um, impactful year for Stimulator um, community. And if you would like more information on the project, you can visit our website, uh, stimulator.com with EA. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, Olympia, I thought that uh, one um, talk, or one topic. Um, Olympia is now talking about active citizenship. Yeah, thank you. Do you need the micro or? Uh, I need the audience will need the microphone. I have many questions to them. Yeah, um, <laughs> so good afternoon, I'm uh, Olympia Dacci. Uh, I live here in Thessaloniki, so I'm a local citizen, first of all, citizen first of all, and I would like uh, to welcome you in my city and also in the first edition of Republica. Active citizenship. What do you think? What does mean active citizenship? First of all, do you feel active citizens? Do you have this feeling? Yeah, I can see many smiles, even if the lights are on my eyes. Okay, how do you feel about active citizenship? Which is the characteristics of an active citizen? Any idea? Yes? Okay. Uh, especially in Thessaloniki. Okay. Facebook. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? Running. <laughs> yes, could be running. Okay. Very briefly, you can say that active citizenship means uh, many different things, uh, and we can use many uh, verbs to describe it. Uh, Is to care to participate, to be involved. Um, can you think about anything else? No. OK. So active, an active citizenship, uh, citizen's characteristic is uh, to be uh, in the community, to be part of the community, and to, to care about what is going on around him. An active citizen needs a better environment to I live, he needs to uh, participate in the decision make, uh, decision making of uh, local authorities, of global authorities, in general, of whatever concerns himself. And uh, also, active citizenship is something that is rising up uh, nowadays because everybody is so much uh, deep uh, uh, in himself and so much uh, busy and uh, doing different various things in order to survive, to survive that we uh, don't care anymore of what, we're, what is going on around uh, the city or the place we live or in general what is going on in uh, the world uh, in general. Uh, by my uh, experience as a youth trainer and mentor, uh, many times I uh, feel that uh, digital education and also uh, digital competencies uh, it's a very big part of uh, my work and also it's a big part 
of what is missed to the education in general and what is uh, missed uh, from the nowadays youth. And uh, what I mean, uh, as uh, you said, Facebook, yes, everyone uses, almost everyone uses uh, Facebook, everyone, almost everyone uses Instagram, LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, uh, Swarm, and many other uh, platforms. These platforms are a, a place that all we can meet, all we can share, all we can exchange idea, all we can exchange information, all we can find what we are looking for. But how much active, actives we are in this world? Sometimes we feel that it's only for taking something and not giving back anything. And this is a big trap because uh, if you think that uh, everybody has digital skills and everybody can use these platforms, sometimes we miss that there are other people that they cannot use them or still they are not involved in these places. In uh, Thessaloniki in 2014, we had uh, the honor to host uh, European Youth Capital. And uh, for first time uh, in my 10 years of experience in with your youth working, I realized that the youth are not so much connecting to digital skills and competencies, and also they cannot uh, use very useful uh, all these platforms. And also they didn't know how to communicate each uh, one another to this, uh, through these platforms. So basically our tools were emails, was Facebook, uh, was platforms that we have developed especially for this uh, event. Uh, what uh, phone calls and also we use many times our mobile phones. Uh, this happens in order to organize everything, in order to be involved, in order to feel that we are doing something for our city, uh, in order to find ourselves uh, as a member of uh, a team. And uh, sometimes was uh, a very, very quick uh, way to find solutions to uh, solve problems that we have or to decide altogether in any uh, crisis management, uh, management uh, cases appeared. Uh, another case that uh, we face in the city and we're working all is about public space. In the Saloniki many times, uh, we, no many times, every day almost, uh, we are talking on the news, we're talking everywhere about the public space and the municipality doesn't do nothing, uh, that the, nobody is caring about uh, us, nobody is caring in general, and always is nobody else, not us. But if we uh, search, if we look for uh, online platforms that uh, uh, existing and uh, uh, promoting the uh, online dialogue of uh, citizens, you will see that nobody is there. Have you ever uh, be participate uh, participants, or have you ever uh, take part in a problem or something that concerns your city through an online platform? Victoria. So there was this open call um, a few years ago held by the municipality um, to um, uh, give them um, our ideas on this public building at the promenade of Thessaloniki, the old Inderni building. And uh, they were, we were asked to um, submit uh, ideas of how uh, they can use it uh, alternatively or uh, what else they could build on that uh, area and stuff like that. And I think the results were presented after that through this platform they did. Yes, there are many opportunities that uh, we can feel ourselves active citizens if, but we need really be active and we really need to participate. And all the digital tools can be opportunities for doing this. Um, in order to connect also with STEAM, uh, with Victoria we have uh, thought and we are in progress of uh, developing something 
that will be more specific and connected to active citizenship and uh, STEAM. And that means that uh, through workshops for youth and uh, with the appropriate and uh, well-trained educators, we would like to show to the new generation how to use safe, responsible and in effective, in effective ways uh, the technology uh, in order to develop uh, competencies and also in order to uh, be more involved in this kind of online dialogue uh, platforms that uh, gives them the opportunity to save time, but in the same time uh, to feel particip to feel involved and to be part of decision making in any level. Thank you very much. Are there any questions? No. Okay. Thank you. Then we do a short break. The next talk will be The Great Wall, Media in Western and Eastern Europe um, by uh, Ariana Zustra. It will start at 5.30, so we have 12 minutes. You can stay here or get some fresh air outside and come back.